everyone! Greenland is an autonomous territory which is part of the Kingdom of Denmark. This means that Greenland is not a fully sovereign country, but it does have quite a lot of autonomy. This is the flag of Greenland. It was adopted in 1985. It was designed by Tu Christensen, a native of Greenland who was a teacher, artist, and politician. He described the symbolism as the following. The large white part in the flag symbolizes the ice cap, and our fjords are represented by the red part in the circle. The white part of the circle symbolizes the icebergs and the pack ice, and the large red part in the flag represents the ocean. Some people interpret the circle as being a symbol of a rising and setting sun, but as far as we know, Christensen never mentioned this himself. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video because we're going to reveal something a little controversial about this flag that has to do with how the design originated. Before the adoption of this flag, the flag of Denmark was used to represent Greenland, and while many were happy to fly the Danish flag, many others wanted Greenland to have its own official flag. In 1973, a group of people from Greenland came up with this proposal. The design is a white Nordic cross with blue fimbriations, which is set on a green field. We don't know the symbolism, but presumably the green field alludes to the country's name, and perhaps the white symbolizes snow and ice, and we would guess the blue symbolizes the North Atlantic Ocean. A year after this, a Greenlandic newspaper published 11 proposed flags and polled readers, and the result was that the majority preferred the Danish flag to all of the proposals. Later, in 1978, Denmark granted more autonomy to Greenland by way of home rule, and the newly established government of Greenland decided to call for a flag for Greenland. 555 submissions were received. In the end, it came down to two designs, which battled it out to become the flag of Greenland. This contender was designed by Sven Tito Aschen, who was an Argentinian Danish writer and author on heraldry, and co-founder of the Scandinavian Society of Heraldry. His proposal was a simple white Nordic cross on a green field. Again, we're not sure of the symbolism, but once more we assume the green refers to the name Greenland. The white probably refers to the white environment of ice and snow, but it also creates a strong link to the flag of Denmark, which also has a white Nordic cross. And of course, the other contender was the design which was ultimately chosen as the flag of Greenland. The two flags went head to head in a vote, which was held by a flag design committee, which had been set up to choose a flag. In the final vote, the winning design won by 14 votes to 11. So did the right flag win the vote, or should the flag have been a Nordic cross flag? There's no right or wrong answer to this. Out of the 555 submissions, it's likely a pretty high number of them had a Nordic cross design. We like the Nordic design that made it to the last two. It's simple, and it has very strong ties to the Danish flag as well as other Nordic national flags. And also, green is not used on the flags of the five sovereign Nordic nations, so this design manages to be distinctive while also being strongly related. So while a good argument can be made that Greenland should have chosen a Nordic cross flag, we also have to say the chosen flag is a great one. It obviously doesn't have the Nordic cross, but it still has close links to the Danish flag nevertheless. It uses the exact same color shades of red and white, and the circle is off-center, oriented towards the hoist, just like the Nordic cross. We've seen a number of the other proposals, and of the ones with a Nordic cross design, we've seen many variations using red, white, green, and blue. Some of them look really nice, while others don't look as good, with contrast issues and issues regarding similarities to other Nordic flags. One design we saw was a slight variation of this. This one has a white cross with red fimbriations on a white field. The original proposal had thin red stripes at the top and bottom, which we aren't fans of. But taking those away, we think this is a really nice design and it creates a very strong link to Denmark's flag while still being distinctive. Here is another proposal which is like the ashen flag but with the green and white reversed. We really like this design also. Here is another one that is heavily based on the Danish flag but the white cross has green fimbriations. So as well as creating a strong link to Denmark, this design also pays tribute to the country's name through the use of green. This design has a contrast issue with the red and green, and not surprisingly, another proposal takes care of this issue by swapping the green and white. Just for fun, we decided to create three Nordic cross designs for Greenland. We wouldn't be surprised if our designs have already been created by others because there's a limited number of possibilities. For our designs, we decided to use green, white, and red. The first one is a variation of the ashen flag, but we colored the canton red. We did this to create a stronger link to the Danish flag, while at the same time, the flag is still dominated by the green. Our next design is a variant of the previous one, where we changed the lower hoist from green to red. 
This gives us an even stronger link to Denmark, but we still have plenty of green remaining. Our final flag has a white cross on a white field, which are separated by red and green fimbriations. This one heavily alludes to the vast whiteness of the Greenlandic landscape. While we think this is good symbolism, it also represents a practical issue because flying this flag in Greenland against the white landscape would probably make the flag very difficult to see. Returning to symbolism, we have the red to create a link with Denmark and the green that once more represents the country's name. Of our three designs, this one is our favorite. So what's our final opinion? Should Greenland change its flag to a Nordic cross design? In our view, we would say no. The flag that was adopted has been very well received in Greenland for the most part, and of course the opinions of the people of Greenland are what count the most. And while the Nordic cross might have seemed like an obvious choice, we really like how the flag's design is still strongly linked to the flag of Denmark. Overall, we think this is a great design, and if Greenland were to gain full independence someday, this flag would be distinct among them with its counterchange disc. Before we end this video, we mentioned that the design has a bit of controversy behind it. That's because the flag's design is practically identical to that of a Danish rowing club called H.E.I. Rosport, and their flag has been in existence long before the Greenlandic flag. It's not clear if two Christensen copied the design or if he came up with the design independently. The rowing club didn't take any action and even seemed to give the use of their flag their blessing, saying that it gave their rowing club some free publicity and advertising. So what do you guys think? Do you think Greenland should keep their current flag or do you think they should change to a Nordic cross flag? Also, do you think the design was copied from the rowing club or do you think it's just a coincidence that the two flags are basically identical? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Remember to subscribe to the channel because we have a ton of flag related content with lots more to come in the future. Bye for now and thank you for watching.